sometimes you want the flexible part like this below um, there's a simplified view of it without using any complex methods I know there's other ways um, creating templates and assemblies and assemblies which is flexible and then everything just adjust um, as you rebuild um, this is a much more simple way um, you'll see there that my uh, bellow here is planar with a face here and it's planar with a face right there and when I move this table forward and I rebuild the bellow should adjust here we go so let me show you how to do this with a single part inside your assembly um, first we start off by drawing this simple part um, I got my dimensions from another drawing um, I think it's this one I find a suitable pillow which I think will be good enough for my design it's like 15 millimeters or 16 millimeters high and a half an inch wide okay so let's open this part right so I start off with the simple sketch I said it's 16 millimeters high I know this gap from my design and my um, X and distance between my X and my Y um, parallel lines I made this piece to be horizontal that piece also to be horizontal um, that curve is tangent to that line same for this one you see this tangent here and there so that you don't create a weird circle as this thing resize and then I added the path length for this path that's the length of my um, chain 600 millimeters now if you don't know how to add that path length go google path length solid works and there's tutorials out there that shows you okay so this is quite easy then I can uh, extrude it and I've extruded this to be 23 millimeters wide 22.7 okay and then I've added some fancy stuff so it looks a bit prettier you don't have to worry it I shelled it so that it's hollow and I add a little sweep there so I the wire path here's my path around the corner there I let it extend a bit in the front I draw some wires which, which I guess what's going to go in there stepper motor wires some other wires right so basic object is this this one the chain itself now you'll see there's a pane and this is the pane that does everything so once you've drawn this without this pane you'll go and insert this into your assembly so I've dragged this component in this part and I add a few mates first of all I want this face that face to go side Percent. Okay, I did the same for that face and that face. Okay, then I also said that this chain must be on top of this pane and it must be a few millimeters away from that edge. So, this is all the mates in here. Let's see if we can see them down here. one 
the side of one blade at the top and in the distance from the side right while in this mode I right clicked on that and I said edit part so it's going to edit the part in place you'll see it's highlighted in the blue and then I wanted to add a pan so while in this mode I went to features reference geometry pan I've clicked on that face I already had one so I'm not going to do it again I clicked on that face I made that zero okay so that I've got a pane inside the chain drawing but the pane is referenced to that face let's cancel this and then I exit the drawing if I open this drawing again I had a pane that was sitting down here somewhere I just dragged it to the top okay so then you go and edit your sketch so the reason I can't drag it right now because I made a reference to the sketch so it depends on the pain but before that there wasn't any dependencies so I dragged it to the top then I went to the sketch okay my pain was visible I selected this line and the pain and I made them collinear so you've got a pane here which is referenced in the other drawing in the assembly and you've got a sketch here where this edge is linear with that pane and that's all you need no other complex things so if this pane change this whole drawing change and everything will adjust accordingly right let's move back here So this reference pane is sitting there. I move the table. Right, the pane has changed. So when I rebuild, this edge should move to this pane. And there you go. No need for doing. I have a lot of complex things to remember. Cheerio.